What is up guys, uh, this is Zach, and bringing you another Python tutorial. So, with doing a lot of projects and applications, small tidbits and things like that, I, um, I didn't think of this, but I had a user um, email me the other day having trouble, who was wanting to build an executable version, something to distribute, um, of his Python program. Um, he, he had followed my encryption my Pi Crypto video and and things like that, and had developed his own uh, program, and he wanted to build something you know polished and presentable with it. Um, so I he was using Pi to EXE, and this video is not going to be for Pi to EXE because if you've ever used it, you know it's a complete nightmare. Um, I'd highly recommend that you do not even touch Pi to EXE. Um, it's just, it's very troublesome, uh, I believe it's only for Python 2, so, it's just, it's a nightmare. So anyway, what I'm going to show you guys today is how to use, um, a module called CX Freeze. Now, CX Freeze is pretty straightforward, and to install it, you can run, if you have pip or easy install, you can just do pip install CX underscore capital F freeze and boom you got CX freeze um, of course easy install would be the same thing uh, you know except easy install so anyway you can just do that from your shell and you've got it or you can um, just look up the installer or I mean I'm sure there's a binary installer for it somewhere uh, on their website but so that's it's pretty easy to get it installed so once you do how do you use it to build your executable? Well, what you're looking at right now, I've been wondering, waiting for me to talk about, is um, a setup file. So, what you want to do is, so see, I've got um, like, here, let me open up a file explorer. So, this file is in the same one as my uh, Python directory, and ignore this. Uh, anyway, I've named it setup.py. Now you want this file in whatever the same directory as the program that you're um, that you are going to build your executable of your file so I can just like copy this and see I have like a Python file that I want to make um, like let's see let's see something to do um, I'm not sure here. I'll I'll just make a I'll just make a new one. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll just save this as my program.py, and it's gonna import just for example. It's gonna import like OS import um, pickle import uh, heck. Let's see. What else do we want to do? Hmm. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I think it, you know, I, I have an array program in that same one, so, or array is a built in module, but I have arrays. It doesn't matter. So, anyway, we want to do that, and let me first test this, build it, and okay. So, all those should run properly. Now, we want to say, I'm just gonna do you know a quick little thing here. It's gonna print hello world and then take like an input to you know kind of pause it and we'll say if name is equal to oops, main and call main. All right, so that's our file. My program dot by now the setup.py file is in the same directory as that one so you can see um, if we go back to it alright so here's my program.py here's setup.py now on setup.py you want to have all this so like import sys, sys or system you know and then from CX freeze you want to import two things setup and executable now the method I'm going to show you guys today is how to build an installer for uh, Windows 
but if you look at their documentation it's super easy to build this for uh, Macintosh and Linux as well so um, just check the docs for that but for the sake of this video I'm just going to do um, uh, Windows so anyway now your build exe options just uh, set this as a variable here it makes it so much easier this is going to be a dictionary as you can tell by the structure of it and one of the keys you don't have to include any of these you don't have to but this will improve the chances of a successful clean build um, making sure that it includes all the proper modules um, and files that you need so <clears throat> packages this should have a uh, value that is a list of strings these are all the modules that you're using so if you remember from my program.py I imported OS pickle and array um, I know some of you may wonder what the heck is pickle but it's, it's actually a module for um, storing your, your data um, anyway uh, excludes this is this key should have a value that is a list again and it should contain all the module names that you do not want to include so for the sake of this one I'm just I'm gonna exclude tkinter even though it's not even going to try to do it as you'll see in a second um, but anyway then include files if you have any like data files um, configurations uh, things like that that you want to uh, that you that are you know vital to your program running then definitely you need to use this so I uh, I used like config.dat or dat you know before but I'm gonna get rid of that right now anyway so now you you're done with that you want to set a variable called base equal to none initially and then if you want to use this if statement to check the um, platform that your user is on. This is where you would do like else if, Mac, else if, Linux, things like that, you know, whatever they may be. <clears throat> but on this one, I'm just going to do if sys.platform is equal to Win32, or, you know, you're on a Windows computer, then set the base equal to Win32 GUI. You can see I have this commented out, <coughs> and uh, sorry about that and the reason I do is because my program.py is a console application I don't want GUI in there so if you were doing something with tkinter or Wix Python or um, STC you know any GUI programs like the um, encryption one that I did the uh, things like that you know things with widgets and buttons and all of that good stuff then you would want to do Win32 GUI for a Windows computer. But otherwise, you can either set base equal to console or equal to none, which is why I just put pass here, um, because none will tell it to use the default, which happens to be console. So you can explicitly say oops, console if you want, but it doesn't really matter in this case. Now you just want to um, call the setup method that we imported from CX Freeze. <clears throat> Here is where you can supply some optional things. So um, like name equal to uh, my application version. You can change your version with each time you build this and stuff like that. Um, it's just kind of a professional way to upkeep it. And description, this is, I'll just say, my... Uh, my example application <laughs> now the options um, parameter you want to set equal to uh, excuse me a dictionary and build exe here should be one key and the value for that is going to be your variable up here this dictionary that we created before so you can see how that's going to make that a lot neater in your code by doing it above now the uh, last parameter executables is going to be a list <coughs> here and um, it's going to contain an executable which is actually a class but we imported executable up here from CX Freeze as well <coughs> and 
and the name of your Python file, your, your actual program, should be the first parameter of that object. So my app uh, dot pi is not going to work. Mine was my program dot pi. And then set base equal to base, and that's it. Now we are finished with our setup dot pi, and you can um, pop open your shell or your command prompt like I have here, and you just want to cd or change directory to um, your Python file and setup dot pi as location. So what you want to do now is you want to call Python. So we're going to run this setup.py, but we're going to supply an additional argument called uh, bdist underscore msi. So what this is going to do is it's going to build a distri uh, distributable Microsoft installer. That's what this is going to do. So if you run that, it's going to say running um, and things. So yeah. So if you take a look at the CX Freeze module, what it actually does is when you import like CX Freeze or something, it calls its main and its main accepts uh, those command line arguments such as bdist underscore msi. And uh, so yeah, that's how it does all this. So anyway, you're going to get a lot of this stuff here. It's just copying the necessary files that you um, included in your packages list. Now if you go back to this directory it will have built two new directories dist and build so dist um, uh, this is yeah this was another uh, file I had done but anyway yeah it's gonna have your Microsoft installer so this is what you want to share with your friends co-workers what have you and this will install to their uh, program files like x86 on their uh, hard drive if you're on Windows, that is. Um, so it's pretty legitimate there. And it in the build folder, you'll have these two folders. So in the exe one here, um, you can see my program.py, that's the executable that it built. So on your own computer, you've already got that there. You don't have to run the installer. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. Now this folder is just completely empty. You can actually delete it if you want. So anyway, it's pretty straightforward. Now if there's any more specific things that you need to do for your particular program, just refer to the docs, the uh, documentation for CX Freeze. They've got, um, I mean, they've got tons of information here for like build, exe, uh, you know, packages, all these different things you can uh, customize and uh, and all for your builds and if you don't want to build an installer you can I mean you can build other things too so like see be disk Mac this is how you build it on Mac things like that you know there it's very very straightforward documentation so it's pretty pretty easy to go from there well, anyway I hope this helped you guys a lot and um, Feel free to shoot me an email or some comments if you have any trouble getting your CX Freeze set up uh, to work. And yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next time.